Hi, my name is Suba and I'm a math expert. And today, we're going to go over how to find the circumcenter, centroid, and incenter. So let's start with the circumcenter. So basically, this is going to describe a situation where we have a circle, and inside of that circle, we have a triangle, or a circumscribed triangle that's inside of it. And now what we want to do for the circumcenter, it's just the center of this triangle. That's all it is. Just a fun fact, the center of this triangle is also where all three perpendicular bisectors intersect. And you can use that information, find the center of the circumscribed triangle, and find circumcenter of the circle. It's as easy as that. Second thing we're going to go over is how to find the centroid. So say we have some triangle. Centroid of this triangle is just going to be where all three medians of this triangle intersect. And a median is just something that divides a side into two equal parts. That's exactly where our centroid is. Last thing we're going to go over is the incenter. So we're going to start with the triangle this time. And the in-center is defined as the center of the largest circle that's going to fit in this triangle. So the biggest circle that will fit in here, center of that circle, that is the in-center of this triangle. Also, something to keep in mind when you're trying to solve for the in-center is that it is also the intersection of all three angle bisectors of this triangle. So where all three of those intersect, also the in-center. That's how you find the circumcenter, centroid, and in-center. My name is Suba, and thank you for taking an interest in math.